Definitely our coldest weather of the season so far right in time as we switch to the holiday mode here. Yeah, it's going to be chilly if you're heading out early, maybe to get the tree or maybe you're heading to Elk Grove to enjoy the street fair there. Yeah, you'll have to layer up in the morning. Temperatures right now we're in the 30s with a little patchy frost in Elk Grove, but as uh, temperatures start to warm under that sunshine, we'll still be in the 40s by 10 a.m. when the street fair starts and about 2 p.m. If you're out there enjoying it, maybe doing some holiday shopping and all the vendors, it'll be close to 60 degrees and with the tree lighting this evening, uh, that's when the temperatures really start to bottom out and start to drop through the 50s and even 40s. So I would suggest layering up if you're heading to the tree lighting in Elk Grove at 6 p.m. tonight. Clear skies to show you here at Tahoe. What a beautiful view to start this Saturday. Clear over Mount Talac. A couple of little clouds on the west shore, but otherwise the skies are nice and blue above us. And it's a cold start down to 11 degrees this morning at Lake Tahoe. We're currently ranging in the 30s in the valley, 35 at Executive Airport, almost at the freezing mark in Stockton. We're at 33 degrees with fairly light winds this morning, 39 currently in Modesto. And looking at Tahoe's weather today, it looks very winter like as temperatures mainly stay in the 30s throughout the day. And once that sun sets, we're right back down into the 20s this evening. So certainly the winter layers are going to be needed in and around Tahoe today. Big picture on the traveling status. I know a lot of folks may have friends in town and family, and maybe they're going to be heading out somewhere else uh, uh, later on this weekend uh, to get uh, back home anywhere from Chicago to Atlanta to New York. Not seeing any delays this morning. There is one weather system developing near Denver that's going to shoot for Chicago tomorrow, so they might have some delays with snow there. Look how clear, though, the West Coast is all the way from Seattle and Portland down to Los Angeles as the ridge of high pressure is over us. That's what's keeping the winds lighter this weekend and going to keep those temperatures cold in the morning, but we'll enjoy lots of sunshine. Now this goes all the way through Wednesday. Notice there's a weather system, but it's mainly aimed for Southern California. We'll catch some clouds from it and then later on this week, Friday and maybe into next week, and we'll have to watch this system to our north. Perhaps it could brush us with some showers. For now, we keep the seven day dry and just add some clouds to it. Arnold, we'll see highs today in the lower 50s. Same thing in Pollock Pine, staying in the 30s, a trucky with a cold day ahead. Placerville, Auburn, if you're heading to the foothills, maybe to cut down that tree and get some trees. Uh, 57 degrees in Angels Camp will be at 54 in Grass Valley. Bay Area, perfectly sunny with a light offshore wind. So 64 in San Francisco, even 62 in Fairfield today, much lighter winds than the past 24 hours. And Tracy going to Ohio 61 today. Same thing around Lodi with temperatures tomorrow morning in the 30s and the Sacramento area, Folsom and Roseville included. We should see highs around 60 degrees today, 62 in Vacaville, plenty of sunshine. 61 tomorrow and Monday with still lots of sunshine. Then the clouds come in Tuesday and into Wednesday. Temperatures start to drop even a little bit more in the upper 50s Thursday and Friday. And again, the clouds are in the forecast and we'll just have to kind of wait and see if that next system down the road can give us a chance of rain. Beautiful for now. Good, good travel weather. We're looking out, but tell me about CIM that and more coming up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Lights filling the city of.